Yes, yes, people, it's your boy, Modi B, Mo the King. Mo money, Mo for show. All right, yeah, no one really calls me that. My name is Modestus Bukowskis, and I'm the former Cage Warriors Light Heavyweight World Champion and current UFC fighter. So, I was sitting there at home during this quarantine period, and you get a lot of time to yourself. You can just sit there and think of all sorts of crazy subjects. So I thought to myself, I want to do an instructional video, but I want to do something that hasn't been spoken about just yet. So one thing vividly popped up in my head, and it was, no one really talks about this subject, and I think this should take priority over most of your martial arts training in reality, which is how to look tough. No one really knows, but there is a sweet science and I've constructed the most prestigious and the best techniques in order for you to look as tough as possible to strike fear into your opponent's heart. Whether it be just walking on the street or you're going on an actual fight yourself. And to be able to do this and to be able to demonstrate to you all how to look tough, I have recruited a very special guest. You have seen him on one of my vlogs before, and it is my dad, my father, Gintas. Yeah, they call him G, because it's a lot more simple, and people, you know, tend not to mess it up when we just go with G. But as you can see, he's a very forceful figure. I mean, I'm scared just, just standing here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get straight into it. And um, yeah, prepare to be wowed. Right, just a little disclaimer before we go into the forefront of these, uh, of these tips and this video. Um, this is a, a video on how to look or appear or seem tough, not on actually how to be tough. For that, you have to actually train in some sort of specific martial arts. I mean, you can't just go squaring up to everyone in the neighborhood thinking you're gonna beat them all up. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't advise you to do that in any situation, but uh, just, just keep that in mind as we're going forward uh, with this very important instructional video. So, step one, people. You got to make sure that you get jacked, or at least appear to be jacked. What I mean by jacked is looking big. Yeah, looking like you've got a massive compound of muscle around in your body, so that you look very intimidating. So when the person sees you and they say, "Oh, look at the size of him," they're immediately running for safety and cover. So I'm gonna get my lovely assistant to grab, uh, yes, that's great. Can you grab the wicks, please? Oh, all right, thank you, nice one. So, he's just gonna go and grab those. So, make sure but before, before each confrontation, uh, maybe put it in the other hand so we can have, you know, we can show them different limbs. Anyways, oh, good luck. <laughs> so, um, before each confrontation that you decide to go on, you got to make sure that you get a good pump going, which means you just grab any old dumbbell like this I just found in, in my home gym. Obviously, you lot may not have home gyms, but try and grab a dumbbell if you can. If you need to go to the you know, gym and maybe grab one. Right, so you're going to grab a weight and you're just going to do a load of pointless exercises that just get the blood flowing to the muscle to, like I said, make you appear jacked, big and ready to beat someone up. Well, not beat someone up, but just appear dangerous. Go for so, rock and roll. Uh, as stated. Right, so we're just gonna demonstrate a couple of exercises that you could do in order to get this pumped, jacked feeling. So we're just gonna do some bicep curls here. So, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, you feel that pump, Dad? Oh, yeah, not bad, not bad. Uh, yeah, you, you feel the muscle going in, in, in yeah. Yeah, something's going on there. Yeah, uh, a lot of blood there. Yeah, all right, that's enough. Uh, my arm's already tired. Next one is just a simple shoulder press. So you just put it here oh. and drive it up. Simple. Oh, uh, yeah. 
And you can make loads of noises too if you want, just to... Okay, maybe you don't want to go that crazy, but yeah, just, just a couple of... Uh, yeah, and, and then you're good. Oh, and make sure you do both arms, because if you only do one arm, then you're going to be oblong, and then you don't look as fierce. Or you're going to have to come up to your opponent just on one side, and then that kind of looks weird, and you don't actually look that enforcing. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to get my lovely assistant to just put the weights to the side. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, that's also another exercise, uh, potentially, that you could do. Right, so another way to seem, appear, look jacked. Yeah, lovely. All right, that's enough. All right, perfect. We, uh, basically, is to lather yourself in olive oil. Now, um, you really can use whatever brand uh, is, is best or easiest for you to get. Obviously, at these times, you know, there may not be the correct type of olive oil for you to bring back home, uh, but any should work. So, I'm going to need some olive oil. Where am I going to possibly get that from? Oh, wow. Ha! How crazy is that? Where did that olive oil turn up from? Oh, olive oil. That's mad. Yeah. Right. So. Uh, this is just, I don't even know, this is some, this, is, this isn't what I, I mean, usually my preferred brand, you know, or, or the one that's worked best for me in the past is, is extra virgin olive oil. Um, that one just seems to have the best texture and consistency uh, to make the muscles seem pumped out and, and give you that 3D effect. But th this will work fine. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to demonstrate putting this on uh, or getting anyone else to put this on me because... That's quite weird and um, quite unusual to have another man pour olive oil on them. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that, but you get the picture. So, step one, make sure you get jacked or appear jacked. So, now we're going on to our second step on how to appear tough. And uh, that is going to be making sure that you equip yourself with a fierce, terrifying accent. You know, quite reminiscent to uh, Ivan Drago from, from the Rocky films, if you've, if you've seen those films before. Um, but yes, this technique is, is, is quite an old technique, but uh, it works absolutely great. Um, I've done it on many occasions and so has my dad. Um, but evidently it comes a bit more natural to him than it does to me. Um, but yeah, so this can strike fear into your opponent, intimidate him and make him feel a little bit less than what he really is. Just by the fact that you're speaking in this different, very intimidating accent, it can make him think that you are quite dangerous and you know how to fight. And obviously, if we're going by intimidation, you've got to make it look quite believable that you know how to you know, beat things up. So I'm gonna get my lovely assistant, my main man, my head coach, to show you a couple of different quotes that you can use to uh, be effective in this area. So I'm just gonna pass it over to him. <laughs> okay. If he dies, he dies. I must break you. I pity the fool. So, thank you very much, Dad, for giving the people a vivid image on um, how to portray um, a very mean and intense and fierce accent in order to uh, create a, yeah, yeah, to create a fearsome character that people do not want to mess with. I mean, when you hear someone sounding like Ivan Drago, do you want to mess with them? I mean, I wouldn't want to mess with them if I was, you know what I mean? Whoa, whoa. Done. So, the last tip to conclude this video and really round up all the amazing uh, tips that I've given you already 
is um, you've got to have a very mean facial expression. Now, when you're getting into any sort of confrontation, if you have a really mean, sort of scary look on your face, it can already put the other person's energies and put the other person's spirits on an all-time low. They may not want to mess with you. They may not want to get in your bubble in the fear that your face is going to somehow uh, beat them up. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give you some, some guidelines on how you can practice uh, this uh, really, really powerful technique. So um, first off, you can, just in front of a mirror, just make loads of scary faces. And then uh, you can show him a little bit as well. Or if you are fortunate enough to have a partner, yeah, best buddy, who you know can help you out, you can just stand in front of each other and look at each other and give each other a bit of encouragement and give um, a load of different crazy expressions and then they can give you pointers as to whether it seems scary or not. So we're gonna practice this right now. And the good thing is that we have handy a camera woman and I'm pretty sure she's gonna give us some good reviews. So let's begin. Yeah, camera woman. So, are we looking scary and mean? Yeah, you look like a bunch of bloody morons. Right, let's try this again, shall we? Let's go one more time. How are we now? Not so bad. Right, can't please everyone, can you? And cut, 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 cut. So, Obviously, when you're doing all these, these are exercises, you know, your face has loads of muscles in them. You've got to make sure you get it warmed up. You've make, got to make sure you get, got to get the blood flowing. Because um, otherwise, you're going to have a very stiff face the next day. And it might even uh, be stiff in a particular position that you've been practicing. I mean, how weird would it be you're going into work looking like this the whole time? Uh, I don't think that's an ideal situation for everyone. So I'm going to show you, again, just how to quickly warm up the face. So step one uh, is just basically just use your own hands and just slap your face a couple of good times and, and you know really really put some welly behind it. So me and my uh, me and my assistant are going to demonstrate that. Uh, you don't have to go that hard, um, but of course it probably is more preferable uh, if you want to really really get your face nice and limber for, for all these exercises. Or you could also, because I have my partner, which is great, it's great to have someone that you can trust, that is amazing, that would never hurt you. Um, and you know, you, they could practice these techniques on you. So you could also get your partner to do the same thing. So if you don't want to hit yourself and you don't feel like you will get warmed up adequately, you can just get your mate to do it. So we're just going to quickly uh, demonstrate. I've got a lot of um, hair on my beard. But uh, yeah, so just, just a nice light, light slap, okay? Nothing too crazy, all right? I mean, we don't want me to be knocked out at the end of the video or something. Ooh. Yeah! Right, guys, so sorry. Um, I've, only, I've only just uh, managed to recover. I've been on the floor, uh, I think, for for a good couple of hours. Um, but anyways, I hope we managed to get the point across to you on all the key areas on how to appear tough or how to be tough in your own mind so that when you do face a confrontation, you'll be able to strike fear into their hearts and make them think twice about wanting to mess with you. Um, however, the actual fighting part you might want to learn how to do that. Um, as I said before, uh, these aren't actual tips on how to actually go ahead about controlling and manipulating your opponent. It's more on the, the stages before that. Um, so yeah, go out, enjoy, have fun, 
try not to slap each other too hard in the face. And um, yeah, always be safe. Don't do anything too crazy. That's all I'll have to say. But these were your top tips with Modestus, Coach G. We'll call him Coach G because it sounds much cooler. And uh, thank you to our camera woman uh, for her feedback uh, on our previous videos. And uh, yeah, till next time guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and you click the notification bell um, so that you can get notified when I have a new video that's even more wackier than this one. I mean more professional than this one. I mean just probably just better than this one really. So yeah, stay tuned.